going on guys welcome back to another episode today we have a very simple really cool tutorial showing you guys this awesome effect i've been calling it the soul transform effect just because you can get some really crazy looking stuff going on here kind of like it's coming out of his body now i already went a step ahead and added some speed ramping onto this clip just to kind of show you some sped up and slow motion parts of this and i'm going to show you some different ways that you can create different looking outcomes using this very simple method within after effects now this was inspired by this video right here this trippy red dead man's wonderland music video this is probably one of my favorite music videos that he actually put out it has 1.7 million views in my opinion it deserves a lot more just because this music video is honestly super cool i'm going to link it in the description so you guys can check it out if you would like to and they have this awesome part right here with this insane amount of speed this insane amount of spinning around as well as they have all these kind of duplications and they're all kind of stretching out of his body just like that a lot of kind of motion blur now the stuff that i have going on is very toned down it's not as fast it's not as spinny like that but i'm pretty sure that the same methods that i'm going to show you here you can use to create a similar looking effect or you can just copy what i do and create these kind of crazy looking uh, shapes coming out of the person's body so anyways guys enough talking let's get right into this tutorial if you guys are new here consider subscribing join the community if you do enjoy please leave a like helps the growth of this channel a huge amount comment below what you guys would like to see next anyways let's get right into this so we already have this clip set up in premiere let's go ahead and right click on that and then just click replace with after effects composition all right so we have our clip with an after effects now so to set this up like i said it's very simple it's very easy just click on your clip go ahead and press Control d so this duplication is going to serve as our layer that's kind of overlaid on top it has the soles coming out and that's and that way it's going to look like it's really coming out of his body and really kind of like this crazy looking effect please feel free to experiment with any of this change any of this around find your own new unique looks there's so much customization you can do with this method and that's why i really like this tutorial so first off what i did is i clicked toggle switches and modes until i could change the blending mode and i set that to screen that's going to make it a little bit brighter but what we can also do is just click this arrow open up our transform options and just bump down the opacity a bit just like that and now we can go ahead and add any of these effects that we want so let's go ahead and add that soul transform effect that i was talking about and to do that go ahead and look up the liquify effect so liquify is a built-in effect within after effects no plugins are necessary and what we're going to do is come up here to our effect controls and now we can just move around this distort this however we want create a bunch of awesome cool looking stuff so let's open up our tool options here and in this example i'm going to change it from what i showed you at the beginning i'm going to make my brush size a lot bigger and if i just drag along here you're going to see it literally looks like you're kind of dragging his soul out of his body because we do have that duplication on top so let's bump up the pressure a little bit just like that and then let's go ahead and move a little bit to where we want all this to happen so let's move a little bit here and we're just going to drag his body just like that and i think that's actually a little bit too big so let's just reduce the brush size a tiny bit maybe something like this we'll drag it out and then we're going to go ahead and click this keyframe button here where it says distortion percentage 100 percent so once you click that let's go back to the beginning and then let's make that distortion percentage zero so since we've made those keyframes here's the animation we just made i'll click play and you're going to see now from that keyframe we made it looks like the soul is literally dragging out of his body it looks really cool and then let's go ahead and change things around so whenever he drags back i want this to go back into him so let's go ahead and just make that zero and you'll see that whenever i'm making these changes you're going to see these little dots pop up here these are the actual keyframes themselves if you want to open these up and then click on the liquid and then click on the liquify options here's the keyframes you can now move these around you can drag them out so if you want this to last longer drag it out like that if you want it to be faster drag it closer so let me play that out for you and this kind of wall distorts so let me just make that a little bit faster kind of like this now the thing about the liquify tool is you can't draw new brushes you just have to add a new liquify effect onto here so say we make this 100 percent again here because we want to add more liquify you guys are going to see that the thing we drew earlier is still there if you want to make a brand new kind of effect just add another liquify onto that clip it's very simple just drag it on there and just do the same exact thing over again but for a different part of the video so say right here so say we have that first kind of part zooming in like that and then we want to add a lot more craziness here so let's go to our liquify 2 let's bump up that brush size again and then let's go ahead and bump up our pressure and then let's go ahead and make a keyframe so we'll set it at zero here because we want it to start as nothing and then grow into what we want so zero click the keyframe button i'm going to move that back a tiny bit and then i'm going to move forward to where i want it to and then here i want it to be at full force so let's make it 100 
like that and now we can just go ahead and go crazy with this liquify brush start drawing and you'll see that if you make it a smaller brush it's going to be kind of like these like donnie darko like soul things coming out of his chest and if you make it bigger it's going to be more like that trippy red video where entire body is kind of stretching forward just like that and i'm going to do a little bit of a mix of the two kind of like this we'll make some of these little cool patterns you can really get creative with this let's go ahead and see what this is looking like so far so we got that part dragging out goes back into them and then we had this part going crazy like that that looks really sick and like i said you can mix this together with speed ramping slow motion you can do so many things with this so i'll set that back to zero and you guys can go ahead and make any patterns you want through the clip now let me show you some more really cool things you can do to customize this method because there's really so much you can do since this is on its own layer you can add any effects onto this and it's going to affect the kind of soul look so say for example we want a glow effect let's look up a glow effect and if you guys don't have sapphire glow there's after effects glow already built into here so I'll just use the After Effects Glow. It's gonna look a little ugly at first, but let's just bring that radius up like that. And you're gonna see now you can kind of make that, you can make that sole glowing a little bit. Looks really sick. Of course, you could apply this to the bottom of the clip so that this isn't lit up. The bottom is lit up. You have so much customization to this. You can add any effects from After Effects. You can add any other effects. If you guys do need effects, MediaMonopoly.com, link in the description. My website has a bunch of preset effects for Premiere and After Effects. Here's another one that I wanna mention that's gonna help you with this kind of motion blur, like sole flying around click on your bottom layer again and then let's click Control d again so make another duplication of your normal regular footage and what i did is i went up here and i added sapphire trails and this is and what this is going to do is it's just going to make this kind of motion blur so i'll just kind of drag along here and it just makes this effect where it's like motion blur but also kind of like trippy like that what you can do to customize how many trails you want you can keep it on 100 percent but it's going to get a little bit cloudy so you can open up your transform options again and you can just drop down your opacity to anything you want so i'm going to put it at 61 see what that looks like and like i said if you don't have sapphire trails check out my website preset effects there is a max novak ghost trails effect within there new preset pack is coming soon as well as a new business essentials pack so make sure you guys subscribe if you want to see that soon we're bringing some more free stuff to the website as well a bunch of really useful tools coming to you guys anyways that's all i really have to say about this video the rest is up to you guys customize this however you want use all the keyframes add effects onto those top layers there's so much you can do with this especially if you mix in all the things that you learn if you want to learn new things check out my channel check out my playlist like i said if you guys are new here subscribe join the community leave a like if you did enjoy this video anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later Thank you